Hey guys and welcome to Body Bags. This is Spooky Rotten Fun and I will be filling in as your host today for Laura. Unfortunately she's having some technical issues so until further notice um, I'll be filling in for her on Thursdays. Um, I hope she can get back next week. Um, but yeah this week on Body Bags it's a theme week. Um, so the theme is the year you were born. Uh, I was born in 1993. And not a lot of great films were made that year, but um, some good films were made, um, and Kronos was one of them. Um, Kronos was directed by Guillermo del Toro, who now is very famous and uh, directs some very high budget films. Um, so this film was very different uh, from the usual Hellboy. Um, and all the other films he has directed over the years. Uh, it was his first film, um, and there is a lot of talent in this movie. Um, a lot of love for horror. And, um, yeah, the film, um, you know, it starts out with an alchemist uh, creating a device um, which will grant whoever uses it eternal life. Uh, he creates it and he calls it the Kronos device. Um, after um, he creates it, which was like in the 1500s, way, way back, um, we skip over to the future almost 400 years ahead. Um, and we find this man who is um, killed by a, a you know, wall in a building that collapsed. And uh, this man is basically uh, rotting very quickly. His uh, his skin looks like marble. Um, and um, yeah, uh, he is the alchemist. Uh, he obviously made the device work. Um, he lived for 400 years and uh, he died uh, from a um, you know mortal wound. Um, so when the police go to his uh, property, um, they find tons of interesting stuff, uh, but they also find a um, corpse of a man who uh, apparently was dr uh, drained of blood. Um, so, you know, um, this uh, story of the man dr drained of blood was never told. Um, but however, this one man, um, who is, you know, very rich and also very ill, uh, finds out about this tale, uh, this, you know, myth of the Kronos device. And he basically, um, gets obsessed with trying to find it. And the tale, um, or the story says that the Kronos device was hidden in the base um, of an archangel uh, statue. So this guy has his nephew, uh, Angel, who is played by Ron uh, Perlman, you know, also known from Hellboy and uh, Sons of Anarchy and stuff like that. Um, he has him uh, go around and buy all these different archangel statues. Um, and basically look for the device. Um, so, you know, he has million, he has hundreds of these statues um, that don't have uh, the device inside, obviously. Uh, but he hears of a um, of another one of these statues um, in the shop of Jesus Gris, and Jesus Gris is a uh, the owner of an antique shop. Um, which he runs by himself, um, and he basically, you know, teaches his, uh, his young granddaughter um, about, you know, life and history and everything. Um, so, I mean, this guy finds, uh, you know, him and his granddaughter are looking around, and they find that uh, the statue, the archangel, um, they find the device uh, in the base, and... Unwill I mean, unknowingly, uh, he activates the device, um, and um, 
you know, it hurts them. It's like, it stings them, like, kind of like a bee. Um, so, yeah, uh, the nephew uh, comes over to the store and um, buys the archangel. However, he just buys the angel. He doesn't buy the device because, um, obviously, Jesus Gris uh, noticed there was something special about it and kept it. Um, so after that, um, you know, um, the, uh, the, the character of Angel, the, the guy who's looking for the, for the, um, for the Archangel, um, he basically starts to harass, uh, uh, Jesus Gris because he knows that, you know, he has the device, um, and Jesus Grizz is actually becoming pretty obsessed with it um, and using it. And the device grants eternal life, but at the same time, it creates a lust for blood in, you know, whoever uses it. Um, so this is uh, the plot of the story. Uh, and from then on to the end, we have the conflict between um, Jesus Grizz, who is struggling with um, this new uh revival of um you know youth um and uh life and you know uh angel and de la, um, de la guardia trying to uh get it from him um and yeah that's the basic uh plot of the story uh it's basically a very very different type of vampire film if you look at it um so yeah uh personally i really enjoyed the film um i thought it was uh great for a first time director um i loved the uh there were some scenes that had some amazing cinematography um there were a lot of cool um effects in this film and um yeah um I would give this film a 7 out of 10, I guess. Um, I would have liked it to have more, um, maybe not gore, because I, I don't think this film would have worked with, you know, extreme gore. But um, maybe a little more um, blood, because, I mean, it didn't have that much blood, um, for a film about uh, bloodlust, um, but yeah, that's my only complaint about the film. Um, it is uh, a Spanish film, so um, if you're not into foreign films, maybe this won't be your cup of tea. However, I do suggest that you check it out anyway, because I do think it's enjoyable. Um, but yeah, that's my review for Chronos. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, uh, it's um, decently uh, a decently um, complicated film, but at the same time, it's got a pretty simple premise. Um, so I, I think anyone would you know, enjoy um, watching this. Uh, so definitely check it out and um, take care.